Today's video guide will be showing you how to install the awesome Kodi app and will also show you the newest, most up-to-date guide to installing the best free build out there. Also, make sure you stay till the end as after the guide we will show you how you can get your hands on a brand new Fire Stick 4K Max absolutely free. If that sounds good, just grab your remote and let's get started. Hey there fellow streamers! Welcome to the channel dedicated to helping you supercharge your Fire Stick. As this is a complete guide, we will start completely from scratch. So first, we need to download an app called Downloader. This can be found by heading to the search bar, and as soon as you start typing it in, it should appear at the top of the list. Select it, and then click Download. While that's downloading, if I could ask that you hit that subscribe button, it helps out the channel massively and ensures you never miss one of our awesome guides. Once it's downloaded, before we open it for the first time, we need to change a few settings. Hit back a couple of times until you are back at the home screen, then make your way over to the settings icon. Now make your way down to my Fire TV and hit the select button. As you can see, I have developer options already enabled on my device. To enable them, you just need to head into the About section, then click on your device seven times. You will then get a notification saying you are now a developer. Press the Back button, enter the Developer options, and click on Install Unknown Apps. You will see Downloader in the list. You can now switch the toggle to On. Keep hitting back on your remote until you get to your home screen. As Downloader is an app that's going to be used a lot in the future, I like to move it to the front of the list. Just head to your apps, go down to Downloader, and press the Menu button on your remote. In the side menu, select the option to move app to the front of the list. You may have seen a lot in the news lately about streaming movies and IPTV online, so we would always recommend using a VPN with these apps. We personally recommend using IPVanish, and by following the link in the description or in our bio, you can get up to 83% discount, and it costs just a couple of dollars a month. Here's a quick video of the benefits. Did you know that your ISP can see all of your streaming activity? While your watch list may not be that interesting, your ISP can also keep track of all of your other online activity. Do you feel like your privacy is invaded now? With IPVanish, all of your data is encrypted, so your ISP can no longer understand your online activity. Protect your internet privacy today with IPVanish. Just click the link in the description to register and ensure your privacy. Now we are back at the home screen. Make your way to the Downloader app. Head to the search bar and type this in exactly as you see on screen. Hit go and the website will then load. Make your way across to the hamburger menu and then scroll down and click downloads. Once the page is loaded, scroll down and click Android. Now scroll down and make sure to click the 32-bit version. Depending on your internet speed, the app should take just a moment to download. When you see this screen, you can click on the Install button. After a short while, the app will be installed. You can now click Done and then delete the installation files to free up some space. Now click the Home button, and once you're on the home screen, make your way across to your app section. Head to the Apps icon, then click the Menu button on your remote. You can now select Move App to Front. Now head back to the home screen and make your way across to the app. Just click OK to grant some permissions and then it will just take a moment to load.
Now we're in. We just need to adjust a couple of settings before we grab the build. So just head to the little gear icon and then make your way to system. Go down the list to add-ons. Then we need to toggle unknown sources to on, then allow updates from any repository. Now press back and then head to File Manager, then head to Add Source. When this box appears, just click on None. Then we can proceed to type in the source for the zip file we are going to need in a moment. Just type exactly what you see here on the screen. When you're finished, just click OK, and then when this next box appears, just click on OK again. Now click back and then head to Add-ons, then head to Install from Zip File. You'll see the source we just added at the top of the list. Just click on it and then wait for it to install. When it's done, head up to install from repository. Head to Diggs repository. Now head down to program add-ons. And now click Chef Omega Wizard. When this screen appears, hit install. Click OK to install the dependencies. The wizard will now begin to install. Just wait a moment. It shouldn't take too long. After it's done, just wait, and this screen will appear. Just click close. Now, after a moment, it will ask you if you want to install a build. And when the box appears, just click Yes. When this list appears, head down to Dig Xenon Free and click on it. This warning will appear. Just go ahead and hit Continue. The build will now download and install. It may take a few moments, so I thought I would just remind you to make sure you hit that subscribe button and maybe consider joining our channel membership. It literally costs a couple of dollars and helps out the channel massively. You also get priority support, members only polls and requests, and also some cool badges. It costs less than a cheap coffee, and the link can be found in the description of this video. Okay, now that's downloaded and installed, Cody will need to be closed and reopened. Go ahead and click back into it, and again, just wait a moment for it to open. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Leave the build alone for a few, maybe even up to 10 minutes. There are add-ons and dependencies that will most likely need updating, so please don't comment on this video saying nothing is working if you haven't waited. I can assure you I use this build a lot, and it is absolutely working 100%. Grab a coffee, make a snack, whatever, but please, just wait a few moments. If you made it this far, congratulations. You're now in with a chance of winning a free Fire Stick 4K Max, just like our last winner, Frost Maintenance Window Clea 6935. So here's what you need to do. First, make sure you like the video and have subscribed to the channel.
Also make sure you hit that notification bell as every video between now and 15,000 subscribers will have a question at the end. Today's question is, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? If you think you know the answer, just pop it in the comments and make sure you have liked the video and subscribed to the channel, as every video between now and when we are at 15,000 subscribers will have another chance to enter at the end. Good luck, and see you at the next video!